Well, I've been parked up here at the beach in San Diego and uh, there's always sand to deal with, but the last couple of days it's been raining a little bit on, on and off. Um, nothing major. Uh, I was actually hoping to see some thunderstorms because I really like thunder and lightning storms, but haven't seen any of those, but just been getting the rain and always have to deal with sand at the beach, but now wet sand has been uh, a little bit hard to deal with. I've been tracking in a ton of it. So since it's not raining at the moment and it's fairly dry, I figured I'd try to clean up a little bit of that sand. And I don't have a vacuum. <laughs> Get after me if you will, but uh, I just don't have a place to put a vacuum. So I just do the best I can with a little hand brush and uh, yeah. Maybe I should get a vacuum at some point. Don't know where I put it though, so I probably won't. Um, anyway, so I don't have a whole lot to do uh, that needs to be done today. I could sit around and enjoy just hanging around, but it's not really like hanging around beach type of weather since it's kind of overcast today. So that's good because I can kind of uh, put my attention to food prep last month. I saved a bit of money because I wasn't spending much on food and I was really hungry. So this month I've been spending more on food and I have not, I have not been hungry. So I think that's really the better way to go. Just uh, don't be hungry, I think. So uh, with that in mind, I've been working on pizza dough. So I think I'm gonna get a little pizza dough going here today and I may need to go get a few things too, so that's that's good because this weather doesn't really make me want to hang around the beach. I'm certainly not going to go swimming on a day like today. Well, it has been so long since I have made pizza dough, I have forgotten my recipe, and uh, which kind of kind of uh, annoys me a little bit. I thought I had it saved somewhere, uh, but I can't find it. Um, but the good news is pizza dough is the easiest of all yeast doughs to make and so uh, I've been experimenting with this if you are one of my YouTube members or patreon supporters you already know this you know I've been working on pizza um, and you've seen the results so the first results I've had were pretty good and I just used just a basic dough um, not really sure how much uh, yeast and salt and all that to put in, so I just kind of guessed. And I used basically a, a three to one ratio of flour to water. And so it seemed to be pretty close. I think I was a little, a little light on the yeast. Um, <laughs> again, because it's been so long since I've made pizza dough, I, you know, I haven't had an oven for years. So, I don't have measuring cups, I don't have measuring spoons, nothing. I thought I'd saved some of that stuff and I tore the van apart yesterday looking for measuring spoons and measuring cups. I uh, don't have any of that, but I do have this little metric wonder cup. I don't know if you've seen these things. These are really cool. These are really for wet ingredients, but it's a it's an adjustable cup. So this is what I'm using even though this is not really a good uh, dry cup measure. This is really better for things like peanut butter and things like that. You can kind of fill it up and then squeeze it out. And so that's why I bought this years ago. And I've hung on to it just because I thought it would be a good van life type uh, measuring cup. So I'm glad I have it because it's the only measuring cup I've got. Um, so anyway, so I just need to measure out some water first because I don't know who that is driving around, but there's ATVs that are driving up and down the beach here, which is kind of funny. Um, annoying is what I mean when I say funny, but uh, anyway, um, so I need to start with water first because I'm using um, active dry yeast and so you got to get this kind of woken up. So you got to warm up some water and 
get this dissolved. So that's what I get, that's what I need to do first here. But we're just gonna sprinkle this in here. And I'm not making much at a time. I'm just making a little bit of, of pizza dough right now until I kind of decide what my ratios are gonna be. Uh, I'm just making little tiny batches of it. Um, now, a good idea is to just give the yeast a little bit of food to uh, to eat and I've got sugar somewhere but I've got a little maple syrup I need to use up so I'm just gonna add just a drop of maple syrup in here um, the idea is the uh, just just give the yeast something to to feed on and that'll any kind of sugar will uh, will work so you're not really gonna taste this in the final product but it's just there just to get the yeast up and going yeah so now while that is sitting and just gonna see if that yeast is active uh, I'm gonna measure out my flour and do something else actually I'll just enjoy my coffee for a few minutes while I'm waiting for that yeast there's a better idea okay this is looking good so I can finish off adding the flour and making the dough. And one cup and a little bit more. That wasn't a good place to put my coffee cup, but as long as I don't knock it over. I used to, I used to do this by weight. I had a little scale and I would keep a bucket of flour and I would just put my bowl on top of the scale and just use a scoop out of my bucket and it was much faster than trying to uh, use measuring cups and all and I think I still have my scale somewhere I just haven't I just haven't looked for it yet. But anyway, this will work, and I'm just going to get this together. And I found from the other batches I've made, I found that um, just to keep the mess down a little bit, I can just work this mostly in the bowl. So I leave my flour handy here just in case I need a little more flour if the dough is a little bit too sticky. Uh, I personally like a very wet pizza dough. Uh, the wetter the better is usually what professional bakers say. Um, really I think that's a good way to go with most bread but especially pizza dough. The wetter it is the better. Uh, unfortunately because I'm not able to bake this, I don't have an oven, um, I'm not going to make it as wet as I would if I were to put this in an oven and bake it that way. Um, it's just a little, it's just too hard to work with for how I'm going to have to cook this later on. All right, so I'm just going to knead this a little bit to get the gluten activated. Yeah, I could, I could knead this a little bit more, but I think this is looking pretty good to me. Uh, I'm going to split this in half, roughly in half there. I'm just going to put this in a bag. This is, this is not ideal, obviously, to put it in a bag. I don't want to have, have to keep buying bags, but um, while I'm just working out my dough recipe, um, I'm just using plastic bags, so I've got a little bit of olive oil in here so it doesn't dry up and stick to the bag. And then uh, do the same with the other one. I'll stick them in the fridge and let them kind of slowly rise 
So the longer I wait before I cook this, uh, the more flavor it'll have. So that's the idea here. I'm just gonna put this away and wait until later. Okay, so these are ready to go in the fridge and they can sit happily for a day or two, but I'll probably be making at least one of those for dinner. And then I've got some cleanup to do here. And once I do that, I think I'm gonna do a little shopping and try to get a couple of things just to make this whole process a little bit easier. Uh, it's pizza dough's easy, but um, if I had just a couple more tools, this would make this a lot faster because I'm planning on doing more of this, making dough uh, more often instead of buying stuff. That's the idea. Clouds are rolling in. Not a beach day today. It is a gray, gray day out here. See, it does rain in Southern California. You've been lied to. How about that as an adventure rig, though? That's pretty cool. Okay, I've checked a few stores, and I'm just not finding what I'm looking for as far as measuring cups and measuring spoons. And then it's just kind of occurred to me that I've made a few batches of pizza dough already without measuring cups and measuring spoons. So uh, I think I'll just get by with my one little wonder cup and it seems to be working just fine. I'll forget about using any measuring spoons. It doesn't seem like I need them. So why buy something that I don't really need? And obviously I've been making pizza dough now without them so obviously I don't need them so uh, I'm just gonna forget about any measuring cups for the time being uh, but I did find a little tiny pan and I went ahead and bought this because I've been using this pot for my oatmeal I when I bought this pot I intended this to be a one for everything pot I was gonna use this for oatmeal and rice and cooking vegetables and potatoes and it just doesn't work very well for that it's a little bit too short every time I use it for rice it boils over um, the lid is ridiculously hard to clean because uh, food gets stuck between the edge of the lid and the glass part and it's not there's no seal around the edge uh, so I, I never use the lid for anything anymore and all I've been using this little pot for is oatmeal uh, because nothing else really cooks very well in it and it takes up a little bit too much space and um, because it doesn't have a long handle the handles heat up really really bad on my stove here so I'm hoping that this will be a better fit for me also I mean I just don't need this much oatmeal in the morning and this is much smaller uh, saving space is kind of important and this for what I've been using it for is just too big so I think this is this will be better uh, I will donate this some, somewhere there we go if I don't break it first I'll donate this somewhere and um, and just switch to this uh, saving space is the most important thing I think but what's even more important is food I need to eat something and even though this is supposed to be a pizza day, I think I'm going to make some tacos real quick. I had actually made some tacos yesterday, and I have a little bit of the filling left. This is um, a 
potato and some zucchini. And I just kind of par cooked both of them and then tossed them with some se seasoning salt and some uh, chipotle powder. So they're kind of tasty on their own. And yes, these are veggie tacos. You would call these, although I do add cheese to my veggie tacos because that's the way I like them. And this will make a nice little lunch. Just enough filling for three more tacos, so that'll that'll do me just fine here for lunch today. Go in there with some cheese, that'll be good. And you notice I washed up my new pan and it is sitting right in here really nicely. It gives me quite a bit more space. The other pan ran into this drawer here that made it really hard to pull the drawer out. So I'm liking it. I uh been trying not to spend money on frivolous things, but I think that will be uh not so frivolous uh once I get using it. I think I'll enjoy having it. Alright then the most important ingredient when it comes to tacos, yellow bird. Gotta have it. In fact, wow, I'm uh, almost through with this bottle. I'm gonna have to think about buying some more before I run out. Well, those tacos were really, really fantastic. Uh, sometimes I amaze myself. I, I make tacos all the time. And sometimes they turn out really well, and sometimes they turn out incredibly well. And these were some of the ones that were exceptionally good. Uh, so it's good uh, <laughs> to, uh, to have that happen once in a while, especially when it's leftovers. I mean, being able to turn leftovers into something really fantastic, that's a uh, pretty big win there. Um, so I was thinking, since I'm on the side of town, there is a grocery outlet over here, and I like to kind of combine my my stops when I'm out and about. So I'm going to head over there and pick up a couple of things just because I'm in the neighborhood. Well, as always with Grocery Outlet, you never really know what you're going to find, but uh, they had some pepperoni, so I stocked up on this. I bought some of this the other day. I guess that was last week. Um, so happy to find that. Two bucks. I mean, that's a pretty incredible price for really good, clean, uncured pepperoni, which is the only kind that I can eat. Uh, the other kind doesn't do well with me. Uh, I'll just put it like that uh, and then this is kind of silly but I bought this huge thing of uncured bacon this is really good stuff Hemplers um, haven't had it in a while hard to find and well the uncured Hemplers is hard to find and so and this was five bucks for this big thing uh, not that I need it but I can throw it in the fridge that's the nice thing about having a fridge and then just in case you're thinking I'm going overboard on the pork uh, I have bought some pears, so that evens it out, and that makes us now a healthy grocery haul. I'm enjoying a pear here. This is not one of the ones I just bought. This one is from last week's grocery shopping, so it's nice and juicy and extra ripe, which is the best way to eat a pear, I think. I really like pears, especially if they're very, very ripe and juicy. Um, I was thinking that... This traffic and kind of craziness here in the city is just kind of getting to me. So uh, it's been actually fairly quiet at the ocean uh, at the beach where I've been the last week. So I think I'm just going to head back over to the beach and post up for the rest of the day.
Yeah, this is a little bit more of what I had in mind. This is the dog beach at Ocean Beach, and I don't spend enough time here. I don't think I could ever spend enough time here. This is just one of the nicest places to be in all of San Diego, in my opinion. This is just the kind of place I like to be. Uh, but just like I was saying earlier today, it's not really beach weather. It's a little chilly. I notice a lot of people have their uh, sweaters and uh, even some coats on. Um, I'm uh, foregoing the sweater for the moment, but I think what would make this just about perfect is a nice hot cup of coffee. So today I am drinking some Intelligentsia coffee. And this is their Black Cat Espresso. I've had this before. I don't know if I've mentioned it here before or not. I think I have. But um, this is some just excellent stuff, and you can get it in quite a few places across the country, uh, U.S. anyway. Um, I don't know if it's available in Canada, and I don't know if it's available in other countries, but I know it's widely available across the United States. And I never buy this if it's regular price because it's really expensive. But if I'm ever in Target, uh, because a lot of the Target stores stock it, at least here in California uh, and Washington. Um, so whenever I'm in Target, I'll walk down the coffee aisle and I'll just look and see what's on sale and what isn't. And if it's on sale, I'll buy it. So this was about 10 bucks for the bag. Just a little more than I have been spending for coffee lately. But um, I really like this. This is one of my favorites, espressos. You know, you think from the name, black cat espresso, you would think that that would mean that it is dark roast, but it's actually a really light roast, and I just absolutely love this coffee. So it's been a nice little, it's been a nice little treat drinking this the last few days. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff there. Um, there's no sense in just sitting around in the van, uh, but it's cool enough outside that if I'm gonna get out out of the van, walk around a bit, I'm gonna need my sweater, so doing like everybody else. One reason I say that this is one of my favorite places, San Diego, is there's a beach, and there's a dog beach. Put dogs on a beach, that makes it much better, I think. starting to get dark and it's starting to get chilly outside and I'm starting to get hungry so I think it's pizza time. So I don't have an oven but I do have a stove and I do have a very good 
carbon steel pen. It's a very thick pen and so it radiates heat very well because it's such a thick heavy metal. And the other thing I've got is this bowl. And this bowl that I actually used to make the dough earlier fits really well on the top of this pan. There's a little bit of a gap around the outside, but it fits really well and it makes kind of a little oven basically so that heat kind of radiates around inside of here. I've used this for several things, uh, kind of baking several things. And so that got me thinking that why don't I just start making my own pizza because I can basically have a little oven here as this is set up. So this is gonna be a really simple pizza. Uh, I'm just gonna get all my ingredients going and get my little oven set up started here. So I'm gonna turn that, turn that right down as low as I can possibly get it and have that just preheating a little bit. I want that warm before I put the dough in and while that is getting warm, I will prep my ingredients. Okay, this is all ready to go, I think. I'm just gonna take this off for a moment. And I probably should, I really should throw some flour down on my board here. But because I forgot to put olive oil in the dough, I, uh, I think I'm just gonna just gonna do this dangerously. Oh, this is all right. Sometimes it'll stick, but um, I wanna I wanna try to get some browning on the on the pizza crust. And I can't I obviously can't stretch this out too thin because my pan is not very big. But that's good enough for me. In she goes. up and just let that sit for a few minutes okay so it's been cooking on this side for a few minutes so I think it's ready to flip over and actually flip out and put the toppings on and the big mistake I made here was not putting the olive oil in the dough because uh, <laughs> since I didn't, I'm not going to get any real good browning. So small mistake, but not, not a terrible one. And this is just tomato paste. I obviously I could have made up a simple little pizza sauce, but I think this will be good for right now. Like I was saying before, until I kind of get everything dialed in, I was trying to do this as simply as possible. But once I, and I think I'm basically there, um, I think I'm basically just kind of dialed in uh, with how I want the dough to be, as long as I don't forget the olive oil again. Um, so that's just, that's just uh, a small can of tomato paste, and I'm not gonna, put any salt or anything on it because everything's salty that's going on top anyway so probably doesn't need any more salt does it that's good and got some pepperoni here Okay, I think it's ready. It's hot. That's really hot. All right. What do you think? All right. Here goes the taste test. That's good. Um, definitely needs a little bit more improvement, but that is actually pretty good. That is better than 
buying, well, I won't name any names of uh, fast food pizza places, but um, yeah, I am happy with this. Well, it has been nice to have a day where I can devote just to cooking and eating. And I had plenty of coffee too, so all in all, a good day, especially because half of it was at the ocean. Um, so that's, that's good. And I think I'm getting my pizza dialed in. Uh, I will definitely be making more pizza and more baking type things now that I know that I can do it. So uh, definitely a good day. So thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.